40, 50 years, so uh, we still have a couple of years to go on. Our next and last but not least speaker uh, is uh, Yair Shaked. Um, and uh, Yair is also uh, from IBM, uh, but from a completely different part uh, than Trusteer. They don't talk to each other, uh, ignoring each other even. Um, and uh, Yair has more than uh, 15 years of experience in uh, software development lifecycle. And prior to that, he w prior to his uh, current job, he was a technical representative for IBM AppScan security offering, uh, and it was integrated into IBM Rational products, which supports uh, insecure coding during development. Uh, currently, uh, Yair is supporting the IBM i2 platform as client technical professional at IBM Analytics. He will talk about uh, the IBM i2 enterprise intelligence analysis uh, and show us a uh, demo. And uh, you have until about midnight if you need. Uh. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Um, my presentation is uh, mostly be a demonstration of uh, cyber intelligence. Um, this is uh, another layer, it's basically another aspect uh, regarding the intelligence gap that we have uh, between uh, the current uh, product and solutions and the capability of uh, investigation. And if we look on uh, this uh, graph uh, at the beginning, uh, we mostly uh, deal with uh, cross-site scripting, uh, DDoS. It's also our, our concern today, but uh, we have another uh, uh, spectrum of technology that we need to cover, like uh, the mobile and the, the cloud. And uh, I am pretty much sure that every one of you uh, hear about uh, IoT. This is the Internet of Things. I don't know if uh, you know, but there is a research that said that uh, in 2032, when a guy will walk in the street, there will be, he will be surrounded by 5,000 devices that transmit data into the Internet. So think about the potential that the hackers will have in order to penetrate and do and stealing uh, uh, very sensitive uh, data. Another stuff is the uh, social uh, engineering. Uh, the hacker uh, Mark uh, Mitnick said that the social engineering is the most effective tactic that should be in every attacker arsenal. Because basically we're all human and we heard about uh, phishing in the previous uh, presentation. And not everybody is so techy. Somebody got a mail regarding that he needs to change his password and something like that. And eventually he's providing uh, his password on a silver plate to the uh, hacker. Um, I will uh, now show a, a demo that uh, basically uh, based on some use case that uh, combine data from a SIM, the security information and event management, and some external data that combines uh, together in order to uh, give a, a broader picture to the analyst or to the investigator to uh, uh, understand what is going on in this uh, specific uh, attack. So this is uh, the uh, investigator uh, desktop and uh, here he can visualize the relationship between entities. Entity could be an event that comes from a SIM, it could be a uh, machine with a, an IP and uh, a, a domain, everything that you can think of that could be an entity and link between entity to, uh, to get a broader picture and visualize the uh, relationship. So he's starting by uh, exploring the repository. And do a visual query. Uh, not all of the analysts or the investigator have uh, SQL uh, skills and can run state SQL statement very easily. So in that case, we provide this uh, tool that he can do a visualization for the entities and the linkage between them. So we start by dragging the event into this uh, uh, canvas and define that this event related to a category by the name of virus detected. Uh, 
and then he uh, add the source into the uh, canvas as well in order to uh, understand the links between the event and the uh, infected machine and dry, uh, draw a line. This is uh, uh, the link, specify the relationship, source to event, and another event to see uh, what is going on on the other hand of these machines. So we, we might, might identify the, uh, the attack. So again, he draw another line into this event and double click it and specify. Sorry, specify the link. <laughs> um, and now uh, we run a search. And now we can see the refine of the results. So we have uh, two events. The, previ the, the first one that uh, 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 we're aware of that came from the SOC uh, operational center. And that, uh, there is a virus uh, detected in our network and a possible command and control uh, connection. And this is all the machines that have been uh, infected. So in that case, I will take all the results uh, and, sorry, and throw it on the chart. Uh, sorry, not that one. All the results. Like that. And now we can see uh, the machine that was infected and we see the command and control and the virus that uh, detected. All this information came from our uh, SIM uh, uh, environment. It could be like a Q radar from IBM, for instance. And uh, now we are going to move to the external sources. External sources in this demo is based on Zeus Tracker. I believe that some of you know of the Zeus Tracker that basically uh, record all the history of malicious uh, IPs, malicious uh, uh, URLs, um, also the uh, binary URL and the configuration URL and the drops URL that will be part of uh, my demo. And now we are going to extend what we know about this uh, command and control by doing a filter expand. Filter expand, you can uh, filterize what you want to see in the, in the chart. So I will deselect everything and uh, check the event to destination. And by that, I can see that there is one of IP that most of my machine from within the organization send the data uh, out of the orga organization to this uh, specific uh, IP. This, this line basically uh, defined the part between the sources, the external and the internal. So now I will extend again and I would like to see the destination to the command host in order to see all the domains. Do expand again. And we can see uh, several domains. Probably the hacker try to um, hide his uh, identity. And uh, let's see uh, what, is going, uh, what is going on here. So we have the herbalus.com uh, uh, domain. And if you can see, all of the uh, IPs are the same in the, in the image. So now I will extend again this uh, domain for the um, command and configuration URL, command and binary, and the drop URL, and the malware as well. And now I can see a linkage between the domain to the Zeus and the drop and the configuration URL. But in this uh, domain, we uh, missed the uh, binary URL that should be a part of the uh, attack. And in addition, you can see that the configuration version is zero. So probably the attacker did not use this specific domain to run his attack. Let's take another, um, another uh, domain and extend again. And choose also the command configuration, the binary, the drop, and the malware. And we will we'll be able to see that there is a linkage also to the malware from this specific domain. And now we have all the three uh, entities, the binary URL, the configuration URL that config the binary URL, and the drop URL that basically sent to the user to uh, perform the, the attack. So here you can see the track between our internal system and our external system. And there is another capability uh, that uh, we can use geospatial data. If you can see here the IP, there is a longitude and longitude uh, in this specific entity. And by using like uh, Google Earth, I can visualize the location of this machine on the map. 
So now uh, we will be able to see where is this uh, IP located. And it seems to be in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and even nearby, like Tel Aviv University. So this is another capability that the investigator can use. And you can see basically that the um, uh, investigator and analyst doesn't need to be uh, much more familiar with the SQL statement, be an um, expert in this area in order to start the investigation. So by that, the system administrator can harden the network, the infrastructure, and uh, avoiding in such uh, uh, attacks in his, uh, in, in his network. Um, that's it. Very short. Uh, I hope uh, it was uh, clear. And uh, thank you all. <laughs>